Hey folks, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be showing you how you can cause a blue screen in Windows 10. So in Windows 8 and earlier, you would possibly go to the, wait, what is this? Just uh, close that for now. You would just go to the task manager by pressing control shift and escape or just by right clicking on the start menu or pressing windows and X and then choosing task manager from there. But as you can see, I've opened up task manager and usually you would go to details and then scroll down through this list and click on either win in it, which is the most common one used, the most commonly used one, or you would go to and csrss.exe. But if you would click on end task, like if you were making a BSOD video and it would come up with end process and you would press enter, it's just coming up with this stupid message for some annoying reason. And it just says the operation could not be completed. Access is denied. That's the error message that it comes with. And even if you tried to do CSRSS, this one, and then click on end task, that would also say access is denied and it would not be able to end the process. But now let me just end the task manager for now. And here's how you can cause a blue screen via PowerShell. And it has something to do with the Windows Start application, also known as WinInit. So I have made a few more videos about doing experiments with WinInit, like uh, terminating the process from Windows PE and also ending or and also like executing the process in Windows PE. Like, you remember those videos that I made where I would type in win in it into the command prompt if I were running Windows PE and press enter, and it would cause the system to blue screen. And that would also be the same with opening it from any other application. But however, if I delete it, it detects that you've deleted win in it, so it automatically creates a new copy. But anyways, uh, we'll just begin with the video for now. So now I'm just going to right click on the start menu. And if you see that it says command prompt instead of Windows PowerShell, you'll just have to go and click on the start menu and then click on settings. Then go to personalization. And um, I guess it doesn't work for my version of Windows, but you would go to personalization then go to taskbar and then it will let you change the uh, action associated with that option when you right click on the start menu or press windows key and x and it would come up over here with either windows powershell or command prompt but it's just my build uh is different and it doesn't have that right now but let me just go back right now and open up the PowerShell manually. So if the PowerShell option is not there, you can just click on All Apps. Then scroll down until you see Windows Accessories. Um, uh, if you don't see it in Windows Accessories, you can always click on Search the Web and Windows or whatever that could be. And then type in PowerShell. There it is. And now you just have to wait for this to load. And once it comes up, then we'll begin. And also, I forgot another thing. If you see Windows PowerShell over there, you'll need to right-click on it and then choose Run as Administrator. And it should come up with this message. Just click on Yes. And now let's begin. And as you can see, it says System32, whereas if you would open it up manually, it would say uh, the name of your user account. But now at this point, you'll just need to type in W-I-N-I-N-I-T. Let me just give you a closer look at it. So that's exactly how you should be typing it, exactly how... I typed it in here, 
no spaces, all in lowercase, and just like that. Now let me just zoom back out. And once you press enter, it should cause a blue screen. And also, I forgot another thing. If you do have PowerShell on Windows 8 or Windows 7, this will work too, especially with Windows 11, since Windows 11 is actually Windows 10 inside out, I've just realized. But now, apparently, if you press enter, there we go. It now caused a blue screen. So now, I'm now going to conclude this video. Now that I've shown you how to cause a blue screen in Windows 10 and Windows 11 via the PowerShell. So thank you for watching this short video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for similar videos. Also, please make sure you share this video with your family and friends if you found something interesting or something a bit funny. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video.